Hey everyone, I'm Alex Pettit and I'll be taking you behind the scenes of some of the best Red Bull motorsports events this year, like this one, Red Bull Sled Hammers, a brand new snowmobile racing event happening here in Canada. Take a look at this. The day started with 64 riders going head to head in straight elimination races. But before the on-track action really kicked off, I caught up with snowmobile icon Levi Lavalley and mountain bike legend Darren Berakloff to talk snowmobiles versus snowbikes. So I want to ask you guys, tell me some of the comparisons and the differences between these, apart from them being obviously uh, a snowmobile and a snowbike, but what sort of things are hard to do on the track on a, on a snowmobile and what sort of things are difficult to, for you to, to handle on a snowbike? So the snowmobile, it does really well pulling up the hill. So I think, you know, you got extra traction and they're a little bit more stable. One of the one of the spots that's a little bit harder is cornering. You know, because you have so much traction in the rear, the sled tends to push and they're a little bit tippier because it's, it's a, you know, got front end like that, so it's easier to tip up. Where the bike, I think you can kind of rail the turns. Talk us through the bike a little bit. The uh, snowmobiles are generally designed to be planted, like very stable in corners and, you know, hence being the design as where you know the dirt bike we basically take a yeti snowmobile kit and strap it to a traditional dirt bike which only has a single front ski and that thus allowing us to freaking really rail the corners and really get into it so definitely cornering is a lot easier weight to horsepower ratio like that versus this you know it's it's pretty far off levi you've been running the course of, uh, a few times what's some of the hardest uh, obstacles on this course yeah, there's a few different ones that kind of stand out. Basically, the over under going over, it, you come onto it with a little bit of a harder angle, so it's kind of hard to get onto it. And then you got to really take your time there. And then once you get to the top of the course, there's a set of uh, four rollers, and it's hard to to rhythm them. So a lot of times you're going to have to roll through them. Uh, you can double into them, but it's extremely hard to do. And Darren, I have a quick question for you. You are traditionally a mountain biker. When you jump on a, on a snow bike, is there a big adapta adaptation that you have to make? Well, yeah, and compared to a mountain bike to a, a dirt bike slash snow bike, definitely a bit of adaptation. But um, I ride a, a bunch of motorbike as well, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty at home on the dirt bike as it is. And, you know, I've been a diehard sledder for, you know, almost 20 years, so. You're going to head up the course later on today and put on a show. Who is going to claw the victory? <laughs> Will it be the claw? Or are you gonna claw it from him? I think it'll be pretty even, like Levi says. Like I'm, I'm very curious to see, like you know, where this thing shines and where that shines in comparison. It, that's exactly it. You know, I'm, I'm not sure how it'll hold, how it'll go. You know, I mean, he definitely could, could rail the turns, and there's a few of them out there, so that could gain a lot. But you know, we'll see. I know the sled pulls really hard up the hill, so it's gonna be a tight battle. It's gonna be an interesting race. Let's take a look at some of the on-track action from today. Mm -hmm. 